welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a review and try on of the Dash Mini Maker Waffle. And I'm going to show you uh, how this works and if it works and if I like it or if not. Remember, I do these kinds of videos to show you and to help you what kind of little items I got and that you might want to get. Uh, let's get to the unboxing and trying and all that goodness. Remember to click subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, so I already had taken it out of the box because I did try it yesterday. Wanted to make all the troubleshooting beforehand. So this is actually showing you how to use it and just to show you, right? I like that the cord is pretty damn big for what it is. It's very small and it is the mini maker waffle. Look at my hand covers it completely. I love the color teal. Um, I did get this recommended from Leanne, um, Leanne Says channel. She did a Amazon favorites and I had seen it on her vlogs. So I got it for $9.99 over on Amazon, but till now it has gotten unavailable for this color. And it's a little bit expensier. I think it was $14.99 the last time I saw. They also have white and another colors. But anywho, this is how it looks. You open it and then you get your waffle print here. And it is, says it's non-stick. So it came in this tiny little box. And the box includes uh, nothing but a little instructional thing. So once we opened it, and of course it came in a little baggie, it had this, which is just like a little barcode. You can take little things, check here and there. And then it had this little, kind of look like a CD-ROM envelope, if you know what I mean, if you guys know what a CD-ROM is. So it included our little manual. And um, you can see there's a red one too, that is nice. And then, safeguards remember to wash it and all that goodness before you do anything to it and here comes the goodie parts right here this light indicator it says that this is a light indicator this will turn on uh, whenever you plug it in and it will turn off whenever it's hot enough for you to use it and you're able to put pour in your waffle mix right in here this is the handle this is the cover and it says non-stick feet so it has this little rubbering things just on the front feet right here and then inside is the cooking surface like that it says it's non-stick but in the instructions to put it that they say to use it, um, it says to use a spray, a, what do you call it? Spray for cooking, cooking spray right in here. It says that you don't supposed to open it like this because it does get super hot. It, you don't supposed to open it from here either because it is super hot because when you open it like this if you know what i mean if you open it from here all the hotness is going to be in your arm and you're going to get burned so it's to open it from a side like this don't grab it like this because it's hot grab it from the handle and open it i'm going to use an oven mitt just because it is very hot so i do do recommend for you to use that so we're gonna go ahead and get started to use it um it the little book also included a mini ma maker waffle recipe book and and it has classic waffles it has chocolate waffles it has waffle biscuit pizza yum it has cinnamon roll waffles so you can put your waffles your cinnamon rolls in there and make a waffle yum and it also has re recipe ideas with measurements and such besides those other ones and if you need help customer support and so on and so on i find this thing very helpful so let's go get and try it okay so we're gonna plug it and you can see you have your light right there on 
and I already have my batter here from my waffle that I did some yesterday and I got left over. I also have a silicone spatula because I recommend you to use one of these instead of a fork or something else. And I'm going to use my oven mitt because yes, <laughs> I do not want to get burned. Gotta wait till the light turns off and so we are able to use it. Look at that, our light has turned off already. So we're gonna go ahead and remember to open it from my side and open it from the lid. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to get my spray and make waffles. Don't put a lot, just a little bit. These because I didn't pour it in a thing. And do not pour a lot that is going to be like making a mess. You want to do it from the center. As soon as you see that you have grabbed all of the crevices on the side and it has gone all the way out, you close it and nothing's coming out of the sides at all. You can see, nothing's coming out from any side. This is really hot, so please do not touch it from the sides. It is very, very hot. Look at, can you see all the fumes here? It's getting done. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna move it so you can see that it's very clean, nothing's happening. I'm gonna keep it to a side to remember to open it from a side. The light has turned off. And to me, the first time I did it, it was an indicator for me that it was done. Look at that. Of course, if you want it a little bit more, you can close it back up and then wait a little longer. Get your spatula. Click it. And, and it's done. Look at that. We can turn it over so you see the other side. Yep. And let's get to it some more. So I have here my waffles. We're going to add some of our maple syrup and Jemima's honey, however you want to call it. And we're going to put some fresh raspberries that I just cut from my garden. Look at this. This means fresh. Barely cut them. Cut them, cut them, cut them. Fresh raspberries, and we're just gonna put a few on the top, just like that. Raspberries, raspberries are delicious, and that is my waffles for today. Yeah, yeah, I give it a five out of five stars for this mini waffle maker. They get done very quick, it is very hot, and it's very delicious. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below if you have already bought it. If you got Leanne's recommendation already at your home. Get to eating. And subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Yum.